Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a not rolling very well Shuko BMW Z3 in a 1 to 43 scale size. It's a car I used to drive. It was my first cabrio, short for cabriolet or convertible. I loved that car and I did some awesome Euro road trips in it. I customized a 164 scale Siku version of the Z3 quite some time ago to look just like mine did. Far enough back that I thought it'd be okay to do another one now. I just had to dislodge a fishbone or something out of that rear wheel well and now it's rolling right off the mat. I can tell you right up front that this build is going to go from a single casting customization to two castings that are similar but not identical to two castings plus spare parts all out of necessity. It's going to be a real franken car when I'm all done. A jigsaw puzzle at the very least. Get yourself a fresh coffee and hang in with me for another 10 minutes or so to see how it all comes out in the end. The BMW Z3 is a range of two-seater sports cars which was produced from 1995 to 2002. The body styles were two-door roadster in the E36-37 model code which is the one I had and two-door coupe in the E36-38 model code. It's the first mass-produced Z-series car and it was the first BMW model to be solely manufactured outside of Germany. They were produced in Greer, South Carolina. M models were introduced in 1998 in both Roadster and Coupe body styles and were powered by the S50, S52 or S54 straight six engine depending on country and model year. They came with a five speed manual transmission. Production ended in June 2002 with the Z3 line being replaced by the E85 Z4 model. I'm painting mine in a metallic blue flake paint scheme because that matches the one that I drove pretty well exactly. And I think it's a sharp looking color on this model. Here I am in my Z3 a couple years ago traveling across Slovenia and those are the Italian Dolomite Mountains in the background. It was a beautiful route through five or six countries. I'm telling you, top-down touring is the way to go when you've got one of these. I really miss that car. Now you can't tell by just watching the video but as I'm detailing the interior seats and door carts and the dashboard and the chassis underneath I'm actually fretting over the missing and the broken parts in what I've got on my desk here. There's a terrible scratch, crack really, in the windshield and it's missing the side mirrors and it, I'm probably going to have to fabricate these bits. I'm going to go to work on this. I can't even feel it with my fingernails so I've got hopes that it's going to come out with some 600 grit wet dry sandpaper to start with but that made no difference at all. Hmm. What to do? Well, I decided to give a vacuum form windshield a try, although I've never attempted half glass piece like this. But it actually came out very well after I had it all trimmed up and I'm doing a dry fit here. It's not bad. Can you tell which one is which? Mine's on the left. Well, even though I'm well into my summer vacation in Canada, I made sure to produce a bunch of videos before I left and upload them with release dates so my channel wouldn't go dark while I was away. You can see some of the themes that are coming up with buddy builds and collaborations. The Four Horsemen and this summer's epic build is the Fury Road Doofwagon, but I pushed that date back to September because I didn't want to rush that one. I want to do a proper job for you. Leaving a thumbs up today for this video is the best way to support my channel. And while you're supporting channels, why not follow the link I left in the description to go and visit Miniature Mustangs and see what Steve is all about on his channel, which is fairly new, but he's active in the community and I'd sure like you to get over there. 
Well, you know what? A real surprise came in the mail from one of my channel viewers that lives next door in Germany. They saw the Z3 in my summer preview video and put this little package together with a note wishing to remain anonymous saying, I see you need a replacement windshield and side view mirrors. He put these in a package and sent them. I keep a mailing address in Germany. It came in just a few days. There's a dashboard there as well, which may have to do with how the windshield fits together with it. But these mirrors are attached to doors. And my casting already has permanent doors. In the note, he left a web address for a German Schuko forum. And he said, this is where I get all my stuff for Siku and Shuko. Those are the German model brands. And so I logged in immediately and I got another casting in metallic blue. It had a chassis and interior. No wheels, no windshield or doors. It was in parts, but very cheap. And so I scooped it right up. So I'm going to work on these life-saving parts from the second casting which I ended up stripping down and repainting so that it would match the doors that I painted in my own metallic blue. So you can understand why I called this the Franken car or the jigsaw puzzle. But whatever you gotta do to complete a build, I've never deep sixed one yet. I finished every one that I started and I'll finish this one too. Detailing all of the newly attained pieces, I was able to take the best parts of the taillights and the headlights and the grill badges and put them into my finished product. And now you can see all the jigsaw puzzle pieces laid out. <laughs> the fun begins. This was a full hour of fiddling and fitting and trying to make this piece from that car to this section from another car and I'll tell you tried my patience so I'll edit this down for you and show you the highlights only yeah trying to fit these doors that came in the mail to a different casting was the most challenging part and those doors had to fit together with the dashboard and the windshield which are from another model again and it was all I could do as, as soon as I'd get the doors in the dash would fall out and I'd replace that and then I'd lose the window so I ended up putting an elastic band around it just to hold that shut glued down the parts and I was able to slip the interior underneath the elastic band with a little bit of finesse it's taken a long time but it's coming together now to choose the wheels. I've got four sets. These, the two cars at the very top of the screen I also got from the form. They're BMWs. One's an M4. I thought the wheels will be a match if I need them. And I tried this first set. Yeah, the axles were too thin, so they wobbled around. They floated a little too much, and that won't do. But I've got some other options to try out. These ones have much beefier axles and they ended up being the ones that I chose and it was even a challenge to find the right screws to put everything back together but I did that was an adventure in modeling and reassembly I can tell you but here it is, and now we can take a closer look, and yeah, I did get the doors in, and they are functional, they open and close, so I'm happy, <laughs> relieved about that. You know what, there's a fine hairline crack in that windshield, but it's barely noticeable. Probably didn't have to point that out to you, but I did. Again, I was able to choose the best of the headlights and the taillight selections that I had, and the grill. And I'm glad I repainted everything because it would have been slightly mismatched had I not taken the time to do that. There's a little bit of a defect on that driver's door, also fairly noticeable. And after all that, it's a great roller. <laughs> so, here's what I started with. Some of that made it to the end, but not all of the pieces that you see here in red. 
And this is my finished BMW Z3. Looks just like the one that I drove. I think for all the cobbling different parts together, it came out very well. Had a little trouble with that front grille, as you can see, but there's a personalized plate on the back, and so I gladly <laughs> bid a fond farewell to this one and pack it up with a custom card blister pack and I'll take this to the Goodwill store like most of my finished customs. It'll be a free gift for a little boy or girl. I'll be home by next weekend when you see the next video uploaded so I wish you a great summer vacation too. Drive carefully. It's coffee time. <laughs>